Well, according to the Federal Reserve, American student loan debt totals more than $1.5 trillion. In a study by First Republic Bank, more than half of participants said they feel shackled to their mm -hmm. current job just so they can pay off their loan. First Republic Bank Senior Vice President James Herbert joins us to share survey results and discuss options for those with student loan debt to ease their financial burden. Good morning, James. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. So how troublesome is it that not only is this debt taking a financial toll, but also a lot of participants you talk to in the survey say it's really taking an emotional toll as well? It's extremely troublesome. We commissioned a survey of over 2,000 people with student loan debt, and what we found was that 75% of them felt depressed by their debt, and over 50% of them felt frustrated by it. With 44 million borrowers across the U.S., that's a national crisis. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, there are things that we can do to help. And so what are some of those things? And I know it's important to have realistic goals when it comes to managing your debt. Talk about that for us. It absolutely is. Everyone's situation is unique. But the best place to get started is looking into refinancing your student debt. You can take a look at firstrepublic.com or go online and search student loan refinance. You'll find a lot of good resources where you can understand what the options are with the various lenders, rates, terms, and features that are right for you. Do you think a lot of people just don't understand that they do have a lot of options when it comes to this? Unfortunately, that's the case. We found that more than 50% of people didn't know where to get started with it. And that's why we want to make it easy. And we recommend just going online. There are great resources and refinancing as fast as you think. In as little as two weeks, you can be saving hundreds of dollars and getting out of debt faster. So how do you know if refinancing is a good option for you or if you should just continue on your current track? For the vast majority of people, the student loan refinance rates are going to be significantly lower than the rates you got from the federal loans when you're going through school. We see loans as we see rates as low as 1.95 percent, which is why people can save so much money. So we encourage people to go refinance, particularly as interest rates are rising. The window of opportunity to refinance at that lower rate may be shrinking, which is why, why we want everyone to get started. And when you're talking about those interest rates, I mean, this can add up to big numbers, you know, dropping the interest rate over years of paying off this debt. You really can save thousands of dollars. That's right. When you refinance, there are people who will refinance loans from as little as $5,000 up to $500,000. We've literally saved people tens of thousands of dollars over the course of their loan and gotten them out of debt years earlier. So it can have a huge impact in your ability to move on with your life. In fact, we found that 50% of people weren't moving forward to buy a home because they're student debt, and we want to help alleviate that burden. Yeah, and that is a big factor, people not buying homes because of all this debt. Now, once again, where can we go to learn more about this is a good option for us? Take a look for us at firstrepublic.com or otherwise go online and look. just search for student loan refinance. There's a lot of great options, whether it's with us or somebody else. We encourage people to help take the next step to get out of debt sooner. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. A lot of great information.